fuck? This is great for any menstrual pain or for menstrual ir 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 Why is my brain not braining? We and you gotta have a talk because who the f said you could look so good today? Who said you could look so good? What is up you guys? My name is Tennessee Yana. You might have noticed that I changed my username. If this isn't the first time that I've welcomed you to the channel, I did. So now I'm easier to find if you want to come and hang with your girl. But today, 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 I am talking about something beautiful, exciting, fun, delicious. And I think it would be able to help a lot of people. If you are like me, you like getting high, fuck it. Like, what are we, 12? No, we can say it, we're adults. I like smoking weed. What I do not like is when I start feeling reliant on weed to get it through my day or to be creative or to get up and do things. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, well, I wanna write some music today, but maybe I should smoke some weed first. And then I don't feel like writing the music and then I, I'm high and then I, it's just like a whole cycle. Anyways. Anyways, I would like to give you guys some of my favorite alternatives. Today we're talking about herbs. Wait, let me get let me get the um, let me get the thumbnail in here. Okay, I'm sure I got my thumbnail in there. We're gonna be talking about herbs today. Yes, 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 ladies and gentle fish. We are talking about herbs. These are herbs you can either smoke with your weed, without your weed. They have incredible benefits, which as I go, will be posted on one of the sides. I will share some of the ingredients in my personal blends. Look how delicious that looks. But I won't be giving away too much because one day I might, you know, want to sell my own blends. Let's go ahead, let's, let's jump into the magic, shall we? The lighting is crazy, but this is the best natural lighting that I have in my apartment and the sun will be setting, so it will be beaming on my face as we go. But let's get started um, with a classic that everybody knows and loves. Who smells like magic in here. Do you know what that is? If you don't, ladies and gentlemen, and gentle fish, it is lavender. Lavender is a great, I was gonna say like medium, um, but it's a great herb for mixtures. This definitely anti-anxiety. This reduces my stress incredibly. It's very flavorful. Um, and because it's loose like that, sometimes you can even put it with your tea, which is another great thing to do with herbs, making your own herbal tea blends. I will have another video about that. Let me know if you're interested in it. Then we have this beauty. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus, there's Pink Lotus. This is one of my favorites. Now, I haven't had it in a tea yet, but I have heard that this makes an incredible, incredible tea. I'll let you guys know how I feel about that once I try it. Maybe we can make it together. But this is incredible. This makes me creative. This feels really euphoric. This mixed in with some of the other ones that I'll mention creates a beautiful sensual blend. It's actually in, um, is this one? In? This is one of my personal blends and this has blue lotus and lavender in there. You can definitely see those. I hope you can. This is my relax blend. This, mm. but blue lotus, blue lotus, like look how beautiful. We love Blue Lotus. So next is Mugwort. Oof. This is what it looks like. Mugwort is great if you are, let me get closer to you. Let, let me tell you a secret. If you are trying to have your period 
Let's say you're a little late. Mugwort can help you with irregular and suppressed periods. And it can also help you with IBS. Mm. If you got IBS, go ahead and put a red heart in the comments because I feel you. This is great. This is not gonna make you shit your pants though if you don't have IBS. All I'm saying is this is great for any kind of stomach pain, any sort of menstrual irregular. This is great for any kind of stomach pain, any menstrual irregular. Menstrual irregular. I can't speak today. Menstrual irregularities. Stomach pain, Jesus Christ, high five Brianna. It took only 37,000 freaking tries. This is great, this is great for that. Also, there's something about mugwort. Um, I haven't experienced it. People also put this in their tea. Drinking it in high doses has been said to be a little bit of a psychedelic effect. I have not tried it. Um, I haven't experienced it in a tea. So that would be the user's choice. Also, I am not an herbalist. Did not go to school for herbal anything. It is just something I'm passionate about. If you are into herbal medicine, I advise you to do your own research. I am not a teacher. I just want to share the information that I have about herbal medicine. Mugwort. It almost looks like mulch, like grounded up mulch. But I love it. This is also really good smoked with like cement, some spearmint with some lavender. Mm, it's like that relaxing freshness. Love it. Next, I wanna talk about this, this bad boy right here. Let me show you what it looks like up close. Horny goat weed. Horny goat weed. Yes, you heard me correctly. Horny goat weed. Let me tell you something about horny goat weed. Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. If you're having problems with your libido, horny goat weed. Horny goat weed, horny goat weed. My favorite thing to mix horny goat weed because it is in a powder like that will be um, Damiana, which we will be getting to, CBD, um, even with the mugwort. It is in one of my own personal blends. I don't know it's on that one. This is my wake and bake blend. But we'll, we'll talk about my personal blends in a second. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Which one is this? Yeah. This one is a great blend if you are wanting to be more sensual with yourself, even if you want to explore your sensuality and your creativity and how they link. Horny goat weed is perfect. 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 For that. I love it. 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 Horny goat weed. Horny goat weed. Aphrodisiac. Boost your libido. Makes you really creative and sensual with yourself. Um, it makes you, it just like makes you feel sexy. This is like a bad bitch herb. Next is St. John's Wort. This is one of the herbs in my wake, wake and bake blend because St. John's will keep you up. It does not make me feel sleepy. Like mugwort is known for smoking right before bed, for vivid dreams, for uh, becoming lucid in your dreams. St. John's Wort will give you freaking nightmares. I cannot stress this enough. Do not smoke St. John's Wort at bedtime. Don't smoke it at bedtime. It'll make you really restless. You will not be having a good night's sleep. But if you are looking for some mental clarity, if you are looking to clear up all that brain fog, St. John's Wort is really good for you. Now, with this, if you are rolling this, I would not suggest most, if any, of this in like a pipe or a bomb, a bomb, bong, um, because if you torch it, it's gonna taste disgusting. 
If you are rolling this in papers, which I would suggest for any herbs, that's my favorite way to smoke them, like herbal cigarettes, beautiful, no tobacco, just herbs. St. John's, you wanna make sure you put that in first, or better yet, put all your other herbs on the bottom. Sprinkle a thin line of the St. John's wort on top and then more of the herbs because when it burns and the ash drops, it's like little, little embers. Like each little piece is a hot ass stick. Like look at this. It's like little sticks pretty much. So when the ash falls, there might still, little be, still be some little sticks in there you don't want to get burned. Now, this one. This one, I was very nervous because I know that there's a lot of people um, out here who are just going to try anything to get them ecto. And this one I want to talk about is serious. This herb that I want to talk about is serious, so we're going to change the vibe. Just, just a little bit. This herb right here is periwinkle. Periwinkle is my favorite color. But yeah, this is the herb periwinkle. The reason why periwinkle is a serious herb I want to talk about is because there are so many benefits to it. But also, you have to just be very careful. Smoking periwinkle, I've never been to this point where, <laughs> where I've been tripping balls. Periwinkle can make you trip. In the 70s, I believe, 60s or 70s, people were smoking periwinkle for its psychedelic effects. I do not know how much you need to smoke in order for you to start tripping. I have never gotten to that point, if that says anything. Periwinkle is incredible for motor function. It's incredible for brain activity, helping you with your memory. It, it really helps with that sluggish feeling. And I think that it also helps with IBS as well. I have been constipated. I mean, we all get constipated. I smoked this and I feel like almost the second I inhaled it, I had to poop which was great. This this will clear your system out. This is also known for um, helping cancer. There is a chemical in it. I can't think of it right now, but I'll put it up here in periwinkle that is used in cancer treatments, which is why periwinkle can be dangerous to smoke in high quantities. Like I said before, not an herbalist. I have never though ingested so much that I'm tripping or so much that I've gotten sick. All I know is that when my tummy is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, this right here. This makes me feel like I have my ish together, periwinkle. Now, I wanna talk about good old Damiana. There's like nothing in here. You can tell that I smoke this one the most. Damiana. I also found out that Damiana comes in a tea. This is uncaffeinated. It just says Damiana tea. It's really good. Um, I would say that if you are drinking it in a tea though, mix it with lavender because this is not a strong tea. It is not super strong, flavor wise. This one, mm, this one is my romantic blend. Look in there. I'll show you even better. This is my romantic blend. As you can see, there's some horny goat weed in there, some blue lotus lavender, and some other herbs. That is my romantic blend. This is what I smoke when I'm trying to feel a little, you know? Um, this is the wake and bake blend, like I said earlier. And then this is just like my relax. I'm trying to feel good. I'm trying to vibe right now blend. But let me show you how to prepare an herb, shall we? 
I switched to the front camera, but you get your paper and this is my filter. I normally use like an Elements brand filter, but I don't have any more and I haven't stopped by the store lately. So you're just gonna take a grinder like that and what do I feel like smoking? Let me show you how to do the blue lotus because it's a flower like that. So I'm gonna reach in there. Looks like that. Just gonna pull a few off. Put that in the grinder. Oh, and it should look something like like that. Like that. Can you focus, please? It should look something like that. Okay. Then you're going to want to grind that up to make room for your other thingies that you're going to be smoking. It grinds pretty easily. And then, let me show you another weird one, the horny goat weed. Let me make sure I put the lid on this because I would hate for this to spill out. I've already been there. Horny goat weed. Just gonna wanna pour a little. Put the lid on this. You definitely don't wanna spill this. And then I'm gonna mix some of my relax blend so I feel good when I'm editing this video. And then. I just do it by the pinch fold, depending on how big your grinder is or how big you want your roll to be. Just top it off in there, just like you would do with your flour. And then you just grind it. No weed, like I said, no THC. If you want to add THC, that's you, that's your own business. I do like to mix herbs with my weed. Um, I feel like I don't go through weed as much and I do not feel anxious. You gotta get it all to the bottom. And then when you open it, it should look like that. Gorgeous. Now you have a herbal cigarette ready to smoke. Once again, my name is Tennesseeana. Welcome to the family. If you fucked with the content, if you like learning with me, growing with me, being a part of a community where you know you belong because you don't have to be anybody but yourself, go ahead and hit that like, comment, subscribe so you know when I make more videos. I don't really have a niche because I'm a multifaceted person, multifaceted human being, doing multifaceted things, you know? Um, but I love you. I'm giving you all my love. How you, how you, how you ain't gonna fuck? Bitch, I'm me. I'm the goddamn